Hi friends, uh, welcome on Merchant Navy Career Guidance Lecture Series. Today's topic is little different and uh, you'll be wondering what is this today's topic. It is fury of the sea and silence of the sea. So how nature changes within 24 hours that recording I had available uh, uh, of 24 years back from the ship. So I am going to show you from the Pacific Ocean south of Japan. One day it was very rough, boisterous weather and second day it was calm weather. I was on a cargo ship, general cargo ship, capacity about 20,000 tons and we were doing Mumbai Japan run and we had loaded cargo during that voyage in Yokohama. Next port was Kobe. And from Kobe to Yokohama, we were proceeding on 20th of March, 1998. And when we came on the southern coast of uh, Japan, that is Cape Kure, that is the uh, place name, uh, we had very uh, boisterous weather. Wind force was about 7, 8. And it was against, we were going to southwest or southwest to west and uh, uh, we had to reach Kobe pilot station that is Tomogashima pilot station next day. So 20th morning finally when ship was pitching rolling we could not do any speed because ship was going at Cape Kure against Kuroshio current or that is Japan current and it was at the peak and maximum current was flowing against us. It may be more than four knots and the weather was against us and uh, it was also quite a lot and ship which normally could do about 14 knots was doing just about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 knots. So uh, we thought when we are going to cross this Cape Kure and reach for the pilot station. Pilot station we wanted to reach by uh, uh, around noon, noon that is 12 o'clock and uh, uh, we could not and we can see the other ship car carrier which was uh, westbound or uh, uh, sorry which was eastbound so uh, that was pitching so heavily at times we could see the bows of the ship going under the swell, swell and the sea. So this is the fury of the uh, ocean, fury of the nature and sometimes you have to face it. So I have decided by taking into consultation with the chief engineer, chief officer that why don't we wait because next day was I think Sunday. So why don't we take shelter at the Suya Island. Suya Island was just next by. So we just turned the ship, went to Suya Island, take a shel took shelter for about eight hours and then we resumed our voyage. So that the tossing of the sea and sufferings at the uh, uh, ship by tossing, pitching, rolling, all such type of moments and unnecessary spending the fuel, we could have uh, taken a uh, shelter and gone. So during night time, we have started and uh, uh, shelter against the Suya Island was a very calm sea and ship would be stopped there and waited. So we started our voyage on 21st of March around uh, 10 o'clock in the night and that time Cape Kure we could pass with about 10-11 knots and weather was so fine and next day morning around 10 o'clock we were picking up pilot at Tomo, Tomogashima. So when night time we were passing Cape Kure ship could catch speed of about 10 knots or more than 10 knots and the next day morning was very calm weather and we can see now pilot boat is approaching the ship and Japanese pilot is boarding at Tomogoshima to take the ship to Kobe. So one day earlier the fury of the sea we have seen and immediately next day morning uh, it is very calm see like mirror almost like mirror. So such type of things one has to experience when he is working at sea 
and sometimes you may have to take such decisions which are of course against commercial but all these things the captain has to balance the commercial aspects of the owner and the ship and the weather and facing the weather damaging the cargo shifting of cargo so all such type of things captain has to balance between and sometimes it is wise to wait and respect the nature and let the uh, gale warning or the winds go away and then you can resume the voyage so this voyage we could resume within 8 uh, um, within 8 hours and we did not miss much next day was sunday so we picked up pilot at 10 o'clock and by 2 o'clock we berth uh, the ship at uh, kobe and next day morning of course monday the uh, work started because uh, in japan uh, no night shifts are there uh, no work on sundays and uh, because it's very expensive one cannot afford to have japanese people working for overtime or on sundays so this is the uh, entire story and this is very interesting and it is surprising surp- not surprising those days uh, in 1998 so i am talking about 25 years before we did not have any uh, mobile phones or cameras handy but still we had panasonic handycam and my wife and family were there on the ship and they have taken this shooting and i am grateful to them that this shooting is available today with me and i am able to make the video so that the mariners or the seafarers can appreciate one day at sea very very rough and furious weather and second day at sea very calm weather so uh, you must be prepared always always respect nature and enjoy nature whether it is uh, calm waters beautiful skies clear skies or it is thunder showers snowing or uh, very squally weather so all these things one must enjoy and one must respect so friends we have seen how nature changes and when you are seafarer you have to be respecting nature because if nature is not with you it will be difficult to navigate and reach from one point to other point through oceans so you must respect weather you must respect nature and you must also be friendly with the nature and uh, within one day such magic can take place and if you try to explain to the shore people ashore people who are uh, the owners of the ship charterers they may not even uh, realize or they may not believe that you are saying so and uh, this can happen they will say oh within 8 hours 10 hours how weather will change so much that today you are saying your speed was zero and next day after 8 hours you could do 10 knots in same location but it is true so this video was available with me which was 24 short 24 years back and uh, which i am presenting presented to you so i hope this is interesting and you have learned something by this video so thank you so much and uh, bye captain jogi signing off here